on a walnut tree. It didn't go as planned. You need to check it out. And as an added bonus, I'm going to tell you what beaver tailing is. That's what she said. <laughs> we're going to take it down without hitting the hydro wire or the tree or the house. Or the other tree of the house. So we're going to drop this limb first. Oh, yeah, get the film there. Yeah. This, drop this limb? limb? Yeah. Where's we're not the tree sure. going to fall? Somewhere right down the ground. Come on, Andy, where? I don't know. We're hoping it's coming down without hitting the hydro wire over way? there. Calm down. I'm calm! Put your bucket down. We're cheap. We want to save every little piece of the log. And we're overconfident. Andy's been sawing logs for over 45 years. So he's pretty confident in his abilities. Bad headspace. We should be thinking about safety first. We should be paying attention to the hydro lines, to the hydro pole, how we're going to bring this tree down. And hello, communication. Everyone around needs to be on the same page. We just need to know what is going on. So communication, yeah, that's pretty key. And we got nothing. Our farm is a sixth generation Mackenzie farm. It has been passed down from father to son since 1875. Yes, people, 146 years ago. Andy owns 167 acres of it, and the other half is owned by his brother, his brother Bob. Yeah, you're gonna split her. That says it all. Bob is thinking safety. I don't want to see my baby brother under a tree. And Andy is seeing dollar signs. Wants to save every little piece of wood possible. Bob wants to use the forks and pull it down. And Andy wants to get underneath and Squirrel! cut it so it doesn't split and waste any wood. No squirrels were injured during this video. Such a lie. Okay, staying with the log. You're gonna see Andy do a front cut and then quickly do a back cut. If he doesn't meet or do it quickly, the tree will barber chair. What is a barber chair? Hey, let's check out YouTube. We're gonna head over to Josh Burr's channel and uh, see what a barber chair is. Holy crap. Man, that, that guy was lucky. Woo! Let's head over to TikTok. Here we go. Uh, holy crap! That, that's crazy. Oh my, you always need an escape route. The problem with this is he wasn't staying with the cut. He wasn't rushing the cut. He was feathering the trigger on the chainsaw. That tree was going down. I'm gonna pull this tree back so it's on the hydro line. Okay, so you're gonna tie it off? Where's a good- tractor and pull it. Okay. You gotta notch it first. Notch it first and then pull it. Okay. Here, Andy's bucking the log. He bucking. <laughs> He's bucking the log. <laughs> He's cutting it down into eight foot lengths. Here's some nice big logs. We're going to be ripping at the mill next week. Boot my subscribe button, ring my bell, and come on back for some more. The hydro line kind of goes in a V, doesn't it? The one hydro line goes to the house. The other one's the main line coming in. That's the one you don't want to hit. That was a whole new line put in in 77. I remember Dad had was building my pig barn, and he, 
and the old line was put in in 1948 and the guy said no you got to put a whole new line in. i think it was five thousand bucks back then it was a lot of money back then in 77 but anyways he put a whole new pole in the line right from the road so he wasn't too happy he was building a big barn he had to put change he had to spend more money in the line than in the big barn but he needed the, he needed the power for the big barn yeah so so how long are these logs eight you're... foot but it doesn't matter walnut you cut whatever you can because you don't want to waste anything right i want to beat the crotch in the end of the thing that's why i want it i want it well, if it comes out at eight feet or nine feet, you have to cut it with the crotches if you want the crotch. Much but it's fun. nice, it's all eight foot, you can pile in the pile and you don't have to piss around with a bunch of stickers. Yeah, that makes sense. But there's lots of different size logs there. Curiosity, are we putting this tailgate back up? No. These little ones are used in the outdoor wood stove. It heats the granny flat, the house, our hot water tank, and our studio. <laughs> she just wants to get her feet up on top of you. Sandy. Can you just say, hey, I'm Andy? No. Just say it. <laughs> say it. Hey, come here. Just say it. Okay. Hey, I'm Sandy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Andy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like pulling teeth. Grumpy. Grumpy. Ooh, look at that Maybe chunk. Dark, uh, dark green and the sapwood Look at that bike going down the road He's got his winter tires on Back to the tree now The butt log is the bottom log it's closest to the roots and it has the widest dimension that is where most of the value is i like big butts and i cannot lie <laughs> what is beaver tailing it's when you bury the whole bar of the saw right into the tree that's what she said <laughs> what are you planning to get out of this wood like what whatever you can get out of it. boards mostly inch boards no you get eight, eight or nine or ten dollars board foot for it when it's dried one inch by 12 inches by 12 inches like live edge live edge, live edge and everything the live edge is in now nobody wants it unless it's live edge so do you cut it into one inch and then it then you dry it and then does it when it then dries you it, then you plane it and what's the finished size? Size probably three quarters or a little more. Mm -hmm. 